In this video, I'm going to show you the Pool Lab 2.0 photometer. In the US market, you're going to be able to buy this under the name Water Tester. So, in the box is the manual, you have the photometer itself, you have the batteries. Also included are some tablets. You also have three different crushers. You have this syringe for the water sample, and there's a nice storage bag also included. And at the time of this recording, this photometer can do 24 different test factors. And probably one of the most unique features, and probably the best feature, is that you can do three test factors at the same time. So the included tablets test for pH, free chlorine, combined chlorine, alkalinity, and cyanuric acid. Most of the test factors use this tablet here. And this tablet has pre-measured reagent in it. So this makes it one of the most accurate ways to test your pool water. And the testing unit is completely waterproof. So you can get the water sample by dipping this into the pool and getting your sample. Or you can use this syringe to get the sample water. So I have my water sample here and you want to fill each chamber up to the 10 ml mark. And you can see that the syringe has a 10 ml mark here. You would just fill it up to the top and then fill up the chamber. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the unit. Whenever you turn it on for the first time, you want to zero it out. So I'm going to do all three tests here. So test one. I'm going to do the total alkalinity. Test two. So I'll do the chlorine for the second test. And then the third test, I'll do the pH. You can see there's a lot of test factors in here. So you see I have total alkalinity, chlorine, and pH indicated at the bottom. There are some test parameters that I think you definitely would want to order the tablets for. You have high chlorine, which will test chlorine up to 200 parts per million. You also have copper, you have iron, and then you have nitrates, which is something that's becoming more and more of a problem here in the United States. You can also test ozone. So if you have an ozone system, you can test for the ozone. And you have phosphates low range and phosphates high range. Although these clips have been trimmed just for the sake of time in this video, I had a clock running during the testing. So you're going to see the real time displayed here on the top right. So there are three stirrers or crushers, all different colors, so that you can do all three test factors without cross-contamination. You can see them using one different color stirrer in each chamber. I really like how deep these chambers are. You can really work at it and crush the tablet rapidly without really worrying about too much water splashing, especially with the rubber guard. So I can really crush these tablets really fast. The reason why the chlorine came out with a red countdown, there's an ideal time limit to run each test and I was a little bit off with the chlorine, but I've done multiple tests with this unit and I don't think the countdown is super critical in most test factors. The total alkalinity is 70, the chlorine is 2.7, and the pH is 7.39 or 7.4. So I'll do a total chlorine while I have the chlorine sample in the chamber. So you want to use the DPD3. So you can see that the total chlorine is coming in at 2.9. You can also do a single parameter. You go ahead and hold down test 2. Now you can scroll between the different tests. I'm going to do cyanuric acid. I've got the cyanuric acid tablet. And when you're doing a single test factor, you want to use the middle chamber. This is the most accurate chamber. This one has the four wavelengths, and the other two chambers have three wavelengths. 
So the cyanuric acid level here is coming in at 19 parts per million. And the Pool Lab 2.0, or water tester in the US market, has this really nice 2.4 inch color LED display. And the Pool Lab 2.0, or water tester, is engineered in Germany. You can also send the results through the cloud, through the LabCom app on your mobile device or tablet. It's a great way to store the readings and the LabCom app will also give you recommendations. So I've been using the Pool Lab 1.0 for many years now and I'm really glad they came out with the 2.0. There's a lot of advanced features here over the 1.0. And for comparison, I'm going to use the same water sample in the Pool Lab 1.0. And the pH is coming in at 7.36. And the total alkalinity is coming in at 72 here. And the free chlorine is coming in at 3.2. So if you're in the market for a good photometer, I think the Pool Lab 2.0 or water tester would be a great photometer for you. It does three test factors at once, which will speed up your testing. It also does 24 different test factors. And I really like the screen and how it displays the results and how fast it is to do the